Joe, no further action required. We got you. Thanks. Again, uh, the jet thruster firings are referred to by Flight Director Jeff Bantle in his conversation with Commander Dave Walker. Uh, involve a series of pre-programmed tests built into the timeline to enable instruments on the free-flying 4,300-pound satellite to record the pressure, heat, and a characterization of the jet uh, thruster firings of an orbiting space shuttle against a free-flying space structure. Again, this uh, live picture from uh, cameras aboard Endeavours uh, located in the payload bay uh, showing the wake shield facility as the orbiter approaches the 200-foot mark from the satellite. That is expected with the wheel speed. And prior to getting into grapple range, uh, we'd like safe hold. Okay, safe hold. The wake shield facility has once again been placed in the safe hold mode to ensure an extra layer of protection for its attitude control system. And in this view, you can see the robot arm uh, being maneuvered into place uh, for the eventual grapple of the wake shield facility. This view from uh, a payload bay camera in the rear of Endeavour's uh, cargo bay showing uh, the robot arm being extended towards the wake shield facility for a grapple. Flight controllers here are watching the attitude control system on the wake shield very carefully, making sure it uh, is as stable as possible at the time that the end effector uh, reaches the grapple fixture on the satellite. Everything uh, has gone uh, pretty much by the book this morning. A uh, 
a flawless rendezvous by uh, Commander Dave Walker and pilot Ken Cockrell to get Endeavour back in a position uh, to conduct a series of jet thruster firings uh, upon the Wake Shield facility from distances of 290 and 200 feet. Uh, uh, unofficially, a total of 14 jet uh, thruster firings were conducted uh, to uh, gather uh, valuable data on uh, heat, pressure, and forces uh, impinged uh, upon the free-flying satellite by the orbiter's jet thrusters. Astronaut Jim Newman uh, at the aft flight deck uh, of Endeavour now slowly moving the robot, in, robot arm in for the capture of the Wake Shield facility to complete three days of free flight. Payload controllers here, very happy with the uh, performance of Wake Shield. Uh, it is a very stable satellite. Story, the spacecraft is stable. Looks like we have a data problem. We concur, sir. Good view now of the uh, end effector of the robot arm manned by Jim Newman on the aft flight deck of Endeavour moving in slowly but surely for the capture of the Wake Shield facility. The orbiter now in so-called free drift, no jet thruster firings anymore as Jim Newman moves the robot arm uh, carefully in for the grapple of the Wake Shield. Astronaut Jim Newman has backed the arm off so he can realign the end effector with the grapple fixture. The end effector is now aligned with the grapple fixture. Flight controllers report the capture of the Wake Shield facility. Outstanding endeavor. I'm mighty proud of my dog story. 
This is Mission Control Houston. As Endeavour flies over the Gulf of Mexico, it holds the wake shield facility in place on the end of the shuttle's robot arm. The other of the two free-flying satellites that were deployed and retrieved by Endeavour during this flight, the Spartan spacecraft can be seen in the payload bay in this particular camera view. AOS, the auto on the right pod. Thank you. In this view from the rear payload bay cameras housed in Endeavour, this is the wake side of the wake shield facility, the side on which the carousel is located, and the growth of these thin film epitaxial materials has been conducted over three days of free flight. The the arm now in motion, ready to rebirth the wake shield facility back into the payload bay. This is Mission Control Houston, the payload deployment and retrieval officer here in the flight control room, confirming that we are in the final activities for the berthing of the wake shield. This is Mission Control Houston. In this view from one of the rear payload bay cameras on board Endeavour, we see the wake shield facility close to its berthing position with... Jim Newman at the controls of the shuttle's robot arm, ready to place that 4,300-pound satellite back into its carrier. In this view of Endeavour's payload bay, we see the wake shield facility being maneuvered very slowly back into its berthed position and its cross-bay carrier mounted directly behind the Spartan spacecraft, which was the first of the two satellites to be deployed and successfully retrieved by the five-member crew on board Endeavour. This is Mission Control Houston. We are receiving television from Endeavour's payload bay cameras as Endeavour currently is flying just to the west of Mexico on a track that will take it skirting along the western coast of Central America. Endeavour continues to circle the Earth at an altitude of about 217 nautical miles. Tucked in its payload bay this morning, the Wake Shield facility, having completed three days of free-flying operations during which four out of seven possible thin film growths were successfully completed.